What you've just seen is that if you have a coil which carries a current in a magnetic field, there will be a torque on it. This fun observation is the fundamental part of an electric motor, and that's what we're going to show you here. So the ingredients you've got to have are a magnetic field. In this electric motor, the magnetic field's produced by an electromagnet down here, and the field is directed from one pole to the other pole, like that. The coil is free to rotate in the magnetic field. It consists of probably 1,000 turns of wire or so, quite tightly wound on that. So we can first set up the magnetic field by hooking up the battery, and that establishes the magnetic field, and of course nothing is happening. To get the motor to turn, we need to turn on the current through the coil, And, well, it turns a little bit, but not very far. If you think about that, the reason's pretty obvious. That when we get to that position, there's no more torque on the coil. In fact, there is a torque in that position, but that's the position where there is no torque, the motor is dead. The problem is that we've set this up so that we have these slip rings here and here, and the direction of the current is constant. If we want the motor to carry on rotating, we've got to reverse the direction of the current once every turn. And that's the purpose behind this commutator here. You'll notice that it's actually split. So we've got a ring here which is split in two, and every time it rotates, the direction of the current reverses. So I have to take these contacts out and put them in here. And put them in here. And then we turn on the electric mo current again, and you'll notice the motor runs perfectly happily. This is probably not the oldest electric motor in the world, but it's pretty darn close to the oldest.